Welcome to the talk on recursive decomposition for non-convex optimization presented by the Stanford Scholar Initiative. We are often faced with an ample number of choices in life, and when it comes to engineering, there's a plethora of ways to solve a given problem. For example, in HFT, there are many ways to earn profit. Autopilot mode in motion planning is also a common example. And in protein folding, there are many conformations of proteins which can bring tremendous changes to living beings. We're then confronted by the question, what is the best possible way to solve them? So we enter the wild terrain of non-convex optimization, where we construct a mathematical model of a given problem by approximating it as a function of certain variables, and then try to find the set of variables for which the function achieves its minimum, often known as the mode. For example, fuel consumption of an engine can be represented as a function of its geometric configuration and the fuel's oxidation capability. The best possible design for an engine with respect to fuel consumption will be the set of values x, y, z, and k for which the function achieves its minimum or mode. As there are multiple ways to solve these problems, their corresponding functions have multiple modes and the family of such functions are known as non-convex functions. Finding a global minima is like exploring a dungeon and coming across some gold. Do you call it a day and go home? What if this was just chump change the treasure lying deeper nearby? Maybe if you had just gone a little deeper, you would have encountered an ocean of gold. Mathematically speaking, it's not possible to prove that the mode we've encountered is a global minimum of the given function. Intuitively speaking, we can't verify whether the solution we found is the best one. It's a formidable task to compute all the minima to find a global minima, just like it's impossible to explore the whole dungeon. So what we do is range over only a certain territory of the function to find the solutions which are good enough for our purpose using standard algorithms like gradient descent, etc. But this too is limited by the computational resources at hand and takes exponential time. Taking inspiration from this maxim, the authors came up with the algorithm called RDIS, which recursively breaks down a given function into simpler functions with smaller independent subspaces. But things are not that simple. Generally, most of the non-convex functions are not globally decomposable. The authors found that although we cannot decompose the non-convex functions globally, we can do so locally. That is, we can break down the function into simpler functions by fixing some of its variables as constant. After breaking down the function into the simpler functions with smaller independent subspaces, RDIS then uses a subspace optimizer to find the effective modes of individual functions. And then it sums them up to arrive at the effective mode of the parent functions. The authors put RDIS to the test in three non-convex problems. The first being structure from motion where we reconstruct the geometry of a 3D scene from a set of 2D images of that scene. The next problem is side chain placement for protein folding, a common problem in computational biology. And the last problem is multimodal functions or functions with multiple modes. Multimodal test functions are used to test the ability of algorithms to escape the local minima, which is how well it evaluates a local minima and moves on to the next one rather than getting trapped there. For their purpose, the authors used a high dimensional sinusoid as a multimodal test function with multiple arities and a small slope which puts a lot of strain on algorithms as a larger subspace means more complexity and thus is more difficult to decompose. RDIS was benchmarked against standard algorithms in the field of non-convex optimizations, which acts on non-convex functions. This directly contrasts RDIS, which breaks them down into simpler parts with independent smaller subspaces. They found that RDIS outperformed the industry standard algorithms, levenberg marquardt and BCDLM, as the breaking down of a subspace into smaller parts allowed the subspace optimizer to move faster. In protein folding, RDIS captures the flag again by exploiting the existing local structures to decompose the function locally through the use of an intelligent variable selection technique. On the front of high-dimensional functions, RDIS initially paled in comparison to domain standard algorithms, but after some time, it raced ahead of the pack with a decisive lead in effectiveness. This research paper makes an important step in the field of non-convex optimization by opening doors to further exploration in powerful problem decomposition techniques to solve them effectively and efficiently. As our lives are full of challenges which are non-convex in nature, solving them effectively in an efficient manner can lead to the improvements of the human condition. Examples include artificial intelligence, medicine and drug development, 
and finding genome sequences that can give a better agricultural yield and improvements in crops, thereby freeing the world from the curse of hunger. Now we've come to the end of the talk. For more talks on the cutting-edge research in computer science, visit scholar.stanford.edu.